about with Kyler's contract. Do you think you're evaluated differently because you are a black quarterback? Um, I don't want to go that far and say that. I mean, obviously, uh, the black quarterback has had a battle to be in this position that we are, to have this many guys in the league playing. And I think every day we're proving that uh, we should have been playing the whole time. We've got guys that think think uh, just as well as they can use their athleticism. And so uh, it, it always is weird when you see guys like me, Lamar, Kyler, kind of get that on them and other guys don't. But at the same time, we're going to go out there and prove ourselves every day to show that we can be some of the best quarterbacks in the league. Uh, what are your thoughts so far on Sky Moore and how do you feel like he can really contribute to this offense? Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a tough player. for. Uh, I mean, he's, he's a smaller as far as height, but he's thicker as far as uh, a receiver. And I think you see that he's making a lot of tough contested catches over the middle. Um, he's thinking a lot because, I mean, he's a rookie getting thrown into the offense, and we're not holding back at all. Um, but you can tell when he knows what he's doing. He runs some great routes, has great releases, and I think it uh, can be a big part of our offense uh, moving forward. You settled in a little bit more today. It seemed like he was a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, and uh, I think you, he's getting more and more trust uh, within the, the coaching staff and with, with, within me, and that just comes with reps. Um, uh, to try to give them the chances to make plays. And when you watch the film and we might, you might choose to throw it on one side, you look to the other side and you see he's, he's getting open, uh, then you come back and put that, put that in, in your, kind of your head and you're like, oh, next, tomorrow I might give him a chance to make a play on that, on that one. Um, and I think you saw that today with that catch kind of down the field where he kind of dove and made a big contested catch. Is, even though he's not the tallest guy, he's, he can make those tough catches and I uh, can build that trust with the quarterbacks. I want to ask you about the start of the season. I mean, obviously you always want to start well, but particularly with the new group, last year did, didn't start off for the first three weeks. Do you feel like there's even a particular importance on maybe that first month? It's obviously pretty difficult. Yeah, and I mean, I think we've done a great job of that these last few years, except for the last, the last year. And uh, uh, you can say that, especially with this new energy that we have with a new group, that guys are going to be ready to go. And I mean, we're going to have to be. We have a very tough beginning of our schedule um, and really the whole schedule. But so you're going to have to bring it every single week. Um, and uh, I think Coach Reed runs his training camp the way that he does in order for us to be prepared for the start of the season. Story this year, one way or another, is life after Tyreek. Just your opening impressions of how the offense feels, you know, with him no longer here and maybe spreading the ball out around a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you said it. Uh, when you have a guy of, of Tyreek's caliber, a lot of times when you have those one-on-one matchups, you kind of say, "Forget the rest of the read. Let me just go to this guy." Um, whereas uh, with the offense that we have now and the, the group of receivers that we have now, we have a lot of guys that are good and can make plays in individual and in individual routes, and so. Uh, you kind of get through your progressions even more. Um, and uh, I think it's special when you have an offensive coordinator like Eric Bieniemy, you have a head coach like Coach Reed, um, and all these great offensive minds on the offensive side of the ball that they're designing these plays. And I can go through my reads, and there's usually someone open on, on pretty much all of them. A lot of national conversation about the Chiefs taking a step back while the rest of the division comes up. I just wonder what your thoughts are when you hear things like that. Yeah, I mean, whenever you – you build the culture that we that we've built. I mean, you expect to go out there, and your first goal is to win the AFC West. And uh, if you're winning the AFC West this year, you're probably up to pretty close to the top of the AFC. So uh, we just go in with that mindset that we know our division is going to be tough. It's tough every year. Um, always got great teams in it, and uh, obviously it's even elevated this year. Uh, so we focus on those those opponents and try to do whatever we can week by week uh, to to play our best football and put ourselves in position to to be in the playoffs and hopefully at Arrowhead. So far in your you know your short career, when you when you see say that you know you're not a tier one QB uh do you feel like you still have more to prove or is it just like uh whatever yeah I mean I, I you always feel like you have more to prove I promise Tom Brady's feeling like he has more to prove um and I think that just comes with uh, any sport any competitor if you're not getting better you're getting worse and uh they, they build you up to tear you down and you got to kind of know that and uh for me it's all about how can I make myself better not what other people say how can I make myself better so that we go out there and win football games and at the end of the day nothing matters until you're on that football field playing and uh that's where you get to prove who you are every single day schedule. Um, obviously, it would be more beneficial if you guys played easier opponents, but it seems like you kind of relish playing uh, pretty tough schedules. Is that accurate? Yeah, for sure, because uh, when you play good opponents and you have to bring it every single week, uh, when you get to the playoffs, you're just playing a regular season football game. Uh, we're playing playoff caliber guys uh, every every week that we, we're in this league, and uh, to be able to go out there and uh, have that schedule like that, when you kind of get to those big games, it's not about playing it any, anything different than you do in that regular season game. I think that prepares you for that.